Well, it happens every year. Hundreds of pets end up at local shelters spooked by fireworks around the 4th of July. But this year, Albuquerque Animal Welfare says it just cannot house all of the dogs it expects to come in. News 13's Fernanda Lopez tells us why. The loud blasts, booms, and pops that surround the 4th of July holiday are anything but a celebration for our four-legged friends. Fourth of July is a wonderful holiday, not so much for the animals. Every year, hundreds of pets go missing, escaping their yards, trying to get away from the sounds. It gets them nervous, they get them agitated, they're not sure what to do about this noise. The days before and after Independence Day are busy for animal welfare officers. We are really doing double duty during that period of time. Getting calls from all over the city, capturing runaway dogs and bringing them to the city's shelters. Right now, Eastside Shelter is under control. Construction. But this year, Animal Welfare says that influx of scared, lost pups puts them in a pickle. Oh, it's a little harder to house the pets that come in. The Eastside Shelter is doing renovations to one of its buildings, meaning it's down nearly 70 kennels. And with the busy summer season already bringing in 25 to 40 animals a day, Animal Welfare says room is limited. We encourage everybody to really take these steps to keep your pets safe. They say bring the pets inside and make sure tags and microchip information are up to date. Plus it will help us in case your animal gets out, then our field officers, if they come across your pet, they can be able to call your um, home right away and be able to take your pet to your home instead of coming to the shelter. Simple steps, animal welfare says, can make a big difference. Fernanda Lopez, KRQE News 13. And animal welfare says if your dog does end up at the shelter, they'll waive any fees so long as your pet is fixed. We have posted more of their holiday recommendations on our website, krqe.com.